There will, of course, be times when you do some data collection, you decide that it's not good data, you want to start again. So in this example, if I start here, and I'm make, performing my time study, and let's say I get distracted or something, and I say, well, I've made a mistake, something's wrong, I can stop it here. If you select the restart down here, see restart, and if you select that with your stylus, you get two options. You can delete everything you've got for that particular operator, or you can delete only specific elements. Let's look at the specific elements first of all. You select that, and here are the different elements that have been selected. So you just pick the one that you want, and it's going to delete it from you here. So for instance, there's a walk to stories right here, 0 0.024. I can go to restart, I can say specific elements, and I can say walk to stories, just like here, and now it's gone. All right. So you can remove a particular element if you made a mistake on one particular element, or you can click on the restart and you can say delete all. And you have to confirm that before you delete all because this is permanent data loss here. And we click on the yes, and it takes everything out, clears everything out for you here. So again, the restart option is very useful. It can only be run actually when the program is stopped. So if you're starting it and you hit the <coughs> addictivity here, you cannot get the restart. You can tap it here. I'm tapping it right now. Nothing's happening. It only works when you've actually stopped the study. You can hit the restart and then you can delete all elements. And the delete is also by subject. So if you have multiple subjects, you can delete data for particular subjects at the same time.